this quick demonstration of advanced HMI with TwinCAD. I have TwinCAD already installed and running on the PC. Uh, and you see I have a program downloaded and running with a simple timer and a bit used to reset it. Now I've already downloaded and extracted the advanced HMI project from SourceForge, so now I'm going to open the solution file. Now you see when it opens up, the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the build menu and perform a build. After that is complete, I'm going to go over to the Solution Explorer and double click Main Form. This will open the form in which we are going to add our controls. Okay, so now let's go over to our toolbox and when that opens up, we're going to scroll all the way to the top. And we're going to look for TwinCatCom. Now select that object and drag and drop one to the form. Now when you see it will not add to the form but shows up in the component tray at the bottom. This is our communication driver. So now let's go back to the toolbox and select a momentary button. Let's drag and drop one of those to the form and then let's go over to our properties window and scroll down to the PLC address property. I'm going to pull back up the TwinCat program and take a quick look to make sure I get the variable name right. We see the one we're interested in is Reset Timer and that is in the main program. So now in the properties window I'm going to type main.resetTimer. Okay, let's go back over our toolbox and I'm going to grab a digital panel meter. Click on that and then drag and drop one onto the form. Now once again, let's go over to the properties window and scroll down to PLC address. Now I'm going to pull back up my TwinCat program and I see I'm going to use timer 1 and the elapsed timer because I want to watch the time accumulate. So back to the PLC address for my digital panel meter, I'm going to type main.timer1.et. Okay, so now we're ready to give it a try. So go up to the top to the VCR play button. Um, also refer to start debugging and click that. The program will compile and begin running. Okay, so once the program starts running and opens up, I can go down to my push button and press the push button and you see the uh, digital panel meter will show zero because the timer reset and you can watch the timer accumulate. Now I'm going to pull in my TwinCat program into view so we can kind of watch these work together. I hit the button, you see reset timer go true and the timer resets, release it, the reset timer goes back false, the timer begins to run. And that's the end of our very quick demonstration on using advanced HMI with TwinCat. Be sure to watch my other videos to learn more about TwinCat and the advanced HMI.